Hey guys, Thor here, and welcome back to episode, I think this is 7 or 8, of, um, uh, Let's Play, uh, Pokemon Emerald. So, in the last episode, I think we made it here to Rustboro City, and this episode, um, I don't know what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue off the game, and, uh, hopefully hunt down Team Aqua, because I think they were doing something in this city, um, Okay, we have a root over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and challenge the gym, personally. <laughs> Alright. In the gym we go. And, um, so you can avoid the, um, it, um, Ruby and Emerald. I think it was a bit easier to skip these trainers because there was less, um, battling of all involves, but, bleh. But in this case, you can just skip right to the gym leader if you really feel like it. But personally, I think I'm going to fight these trainers off camera. And, um, because I want to get, um, a good gym battle in here. So, um, I will see you guys when, um, I'm done defeating all these trainers. Actually, I believe here we have, um, a double battle. Um, and I don't think I've explained double battles before. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do it now. A double battle is where if two trainers see you at once, they will, uh, challenge you to a battle. And, uh, in this case... Uh, if you've ch if you chose, um, I was about to say Kimori, if you chose Trico or Mudkip, this fight is a joke. It really is. Like, this entire gym is just a joke. So I guess they gave you the benefit of the doubt for, um, this, um, the first gym. So they, um, so if you chose two of the three Pokemon, you'd have an easy choice. I think that, I, I personally think that's what they did. But what I don't like is, um, here they don't, um, they don't show your Pokemon's experience. But, uh, anyway, I don't blame them. Oh, Confusion does a bit more than I thought it did. So, um, I don't have my slave over here, um, with me on this tournament, so I don't think I'm gonna, um, I don't think our slave is gonna pull a Chug Conroy on it. Yeah, that's a reference to Chug Conroy's Pokemon. Uh, Emerald Let's Play, when his uh, HM slave come killed the gym leader's Pokemon just by uh, looking at it funny. You need to watch the video to know what I'm talking about, but it is funny. God, can, uh, Psycho needs a bit of level up, and um, somebody um, informed me that I um um. Uh, that I spelled Psycho wrong. <laughs> I actually didn't realize that until at first I was like, no I didn't. And then like, I looked back at the video and I was like, oh crap, well, I'm, I'm a moron. I think that was the episode where I like, um, I just caught the Pokemon. And I was like, uh, my voice was, I was like kind of sick. And I think I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. And I was really drowsy. Pokemon reference. So, um, I'm not sure if you guys saw the video. But a little while ago, I, um, or like 20 minutes ago, I posted a video saying that my computer was broken. Um, but, um, because it, like, shut down on me, and then it, it, like, did a startup repair, and I was like, oh my god, and it, like, did it for 20 minutes, and I was like, oh my god, it's never going to, it's just gonna do it forever, and then it's just not gonna work. But then finally, I made the video and posted it, and then when I was going to shut my computer down and take it in to get repaired, um, Guess what? It brought a message saying that the repairs were were successful. And uh, I started up my computer, and what do you know? They were. So anyway, it looks like that um, the gym leader in this town is an honor student from the Pokemon Trainer School. Don't worry, we will be going there in this episode. So, um, I think there is a few differences between Sapphire and Ruby in this, um, Battle, but I think she only has two Geo dudes. But her Geo dude's a higher level. Do not, um, you can quote me if I'm mistaken. Um. Okay, this is a tough move. All right. Um. All this is quick attack. Oh come on! That was retarded. Okay. I'm the faster Pokemon anyway. I was gonna take it out with a non-effective move. Just to be cool, but... Black. Alright, at least I'll gain some health back from this. Let me tell you, that 
absorb, if you have leftovers on your Pokemon, you gain a lot of health back. Personally. <laughs> so yeah, here's just another Geo dude. We know how we, um, everyone knows how we take out Geo dudes in this part. These parts. Oh my god, not in this move again. Don't get a critical. Alright, thank you. Yeah, ha, I knew you were going to do that. So, um, I guess that the, um, that the last gym with our dad in it, that I can't remember the place of the, the place where, um, the gym is for the life of me, but, uh, that town is actually, I guess that's saying be the first gym in the game, but it's kind of like, um, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, or the gym in Viridian City, that's, it's the first town you go to, but it's the last gym, so... That's kind of weird. So anyway, here you have Nose Pass. This thing is weird. This thing has to be one of my least favorite Pokemon. And next to its evolution. My, its evolution is like my fifth or so, but this thing is like... This thing isn't really on my list, but it's weird. Like seriously, like, like just look at it. I, I don't even think I need to explain. But it just looks weird, like its nose and stuff like that. Like its nose, it just doesn't have the best moves. It doesn't get much better when it evolves. And God, this thing is tough. And I can't escape from it too. But God, it's tackle did no more than my absorb. All right, and it has berry, orange berry. God, how come every single gym has that? Oh my god. I don't know how many absorbs I have left. Um, how many more do I have? Oh my god. Oh, sorry, I just clicked on my mouse. Okay, I have like eight left. God, I got really scared there because my computer's been acting up recently. And I was really scared. Now, it's probably going to heal on this turn. So I'm going to go off a limb. Oh god, no, it didn't heal. Okay. I'll take that. Alright, well there we go. We beat Nose Pass. And the Rustboro City Gym. Alright, so I uh, guess looks like we're uh, leveled up again. Pursuit. I think I'll make it learn that. Um, get rid of Lear. I don't find myself using moves like that very often. Alright, there we go. And as of now, we have now defeated... The Rustboro City Gym and earned our first gym badge. Here we go. Whoa, whoa Kamori is evolving. Here we have our first evolution of the game. Um, if a Pokemon reaches certain stat stats, it will evolve or technically change form. So in this case, Kamori, when it reaches level 16, it will evolve into Skeptile. So even though I guess now that Kamori is no longer um, the Pokemon's uh, Japanese name, I'm still going to keep it Kimori because I feel like it. And it's kind of the Pokemon's name. Like, I could name the Prime Minister, Prime Minister, and after it, it wasn't, and after he is no longer Prime Minister, then his name would still be Prime Minister. <laughs> if anyone catches my drift, um, get rid of Pound. I don't need it. Alright, there we go. Kimori learned Fury Cutter. And now, we receive the Stone Badge from Roxanne. Perfect, actually. Our Pokemon evolved on a very special gym battle. Now we get the TM36. I'm not sure that Tim would shoot Rock Tomb. I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn that. But anyway. Here we have Kimori or Skeptile. And now that it's level 16, I need to train up Psycho a little bit. So I think I'll probably do that off camera on um, some people or someone. <laughs> yeah. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Ah, so here's Team Aqua. We found them. Please don't take my goods. <laughs> I love that line. 
What's up here? Oh, it's you! You're the fantastic trainer that saved me! I'll be in Bellborg Woods! Help! I was robbed by Team Aqua! I have to get the Devon Guns back! If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble! Alright, fine, I'll do it for you, bro. Alright, but I still. I think there might be a. No. Alright, here we have a new Pokemon, though. Here we have Nindicata. So, um. Basically, Nindicata. It's not a very good Pokemon. It does, um, it's a bug type Pokemon, but it's evolution, and, um, it only has one HP, and it only, um, is hurt by moves that are super effective to it. So I believe it's Bug and Ghost. So the only thing that's super effective to those, um, it's obviously an instant kill to that, so even though it, it, um, it may be level 100, it only has one HP, and, um, a simple Ember attack would still probably knock it out. So here we have another simple bug catcher. So I think I'll probably battle this trainer and end the episode off because it seems like we've been going for a good uh, minute or two. And uh, yeah, I think I'll probably train Psycho up to probably level 14 or 15 off camera. Um, and I don't think Psycho evolves at all through those levels. If it does, then um, I can't do anything about that. I'll probably just. In the middle of its evolution phase, I'll just, um, save the game, I guess. I'll just, um, yeah, just save the game and, um, do that. <laughs> and, um, when I start the recording again, I'll, um, I'll just do it from there. God, I can't speak today. Well, I can't, it's just, I don't have very good wording today, I should say. Alright, let's just go. Oh god! Okay, I will not forget a Pokemon opinion backslash fact of the day yet. Okay. My Pokemon fact of the day, or backslash opinion, to have an opinion, is that Nidkea's evolution, which I can't remember the name of, is actually a very good Pokemon if you know how to use it. Yay, I actually did it! I actually did it for once in my freaking life! And, uh, so yeah, that'll end this episode off of Pokemon Emerald. I hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, actually, I'll show off Grovile, er, Skeptile, er, yeah, Grovile here. Jeez. I think I called it Skeptile before. So, um, anyway, I'll go ahead and throw Kimori out there. So this is Skeptile's sprite. Very, very cool. Very powerful, too. And yet I say that, and yet Fury Cutter hardly does anything. But that's because it doesn't have very much attack. If I use something like Pursuit, then um, it probably do something else. But anyway, yet again, my name is Zora, and I bid you all farewell.